Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today we're going to do a quick unboxing of uh, Brezhnev's War, Warsaw Pact versus NATO in Germany 1980. It's a uh, compass game, game, and uh, I'm not sure when this came out. Uh, I think it's an older game, but uh, you get two little D6s, a black and a white one. Uh, I like little D6s. Uh, then you get a rules book. And it is on non-glossy real paper. I guess this cover, no, it's not glossy. It's just shining. It's a nice, it's a nice cover. And uh, it's 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 nice paper. You could write in this. Uh, here here we go, giving you a breakdown of the counters. Uh, three numbers on them: attack, defense, and movement, and uh, nationalities and other things that you really don't need to know to play but they're just good to know um, for instance this is a mechanized or no that's an armor unit compri comprised mostly of tanks and it's real humid here these pages may be sticking a little bit and here's all the different unit types uh, those are those are nato symbols um, it's a full color rule book, uh, large font, double, two columns per page, case in point, which is always nice, electronic warfare, air superiority, we have uh, ZOC, supply, reinforcements, movement, and that sun's really coming in my windows. Combat. Page 13. Two, three pages of combat explanation. That's it. The rule book is only 15 pages. And it's not that dense. And it looks pretty nice. Uh, on the back, you have your uh, combat results table. Ooh, a supply tracing table by nationality. That's interesting. East German and Czechoslovakian loyalty. And that's interesting. So that's your rule book. It's not a bad rule book. Good paper. Uh, then here we have a uh, player reference card. You have CRT, supply tracing, everything. Oh, the terrain effects chart too. But the charts that were on the back of the rule book are also reproduced here. And it's double sided. Turn sequence, turn sequence. I wonder why. Is it different? DX, DREXEX. DREXEX, -E It looked like it's the same chart. I don't know why it's double sided. Uh, then we have a counter sheet. These are your uh, units. Uh, US is obviously the green ones. Germans or, or West Germans are the black. Uh, the British are those beige. And the yellow and the orange are probably like Netherlands and Denmark or something like that, maybe. Not sure. And of course, oh, the blue is probably French. I'm not sure what that color is. And of course, the red are your Soviets. Look at all that armor. Tons of armor. And look at all that artillery, too. Holy mackerel. Uh, then we have another counter sheet with more Soviet units, bunches of armor and mechanized infantry. Wow. And these, I guess, are control markers. Yeah, they're control markers. Then we have our map. It's a paper map. Oh, it looks like there's two maps. This one is, is East Germany, all the way up to the Baltic and North Seas. There's Hamburg, Brennan. All right, there's one map. This is the uh, this is the West map, or I mean East map. Shit. And then there's another map here. Oh shit, there's three maps, boys. This is the 
middle mat, I'm thinking. No, this is a bottom mat. This goes along the bottom. This goes along the bottom of this map, and then along the bottom of, I'm guessing this is the western map, which also has reproductions of the terrain effects chart, combat results table, and all that other stuff. Yeah, here we go. This is the, uh, the other map. Oh, there's the Ruhr. This is France over here, I guess. Yeah, there's the, uh, oh, no, maybe not. Oh, that's the Netherlands. Okay. Holy moly. It's a big, um, and then this map goes together like so. No. No, it doesn't. It goes down at the bottom down here. Holy mackerel. Um, I'm, I'm guessing also that you need a lot of table space. There's another map that goes there's a, a map that also goes down below both of these. You're gonna need a lot of table space to play this. Um, uh, didn't I don't know if there's scenarios that only use one or two maps, but man, you need a lot of table space. So I didn't realize this map was just rolling. Okay, well, yeah, I'm dropping everything off the table. But hey, that was a uh, quick unboxing of what you would get in uh, Brezhnev's War, uh, Warsaw Pact versus NATO in uh, Germany, 1980. It's a tie bomber design. Okay. Huh. Then by Compass Games, I guess it came out in 2017. Uh, haven't really seen a whole lot about it on the internet, but. Uh, that doesn't mean nothing. But hey, thanks for watching another poop production, guys. Appreciate it.